Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling a solo dolo on this Madden 20 Browns franchise rebuild, and here we are, season five in review. We uh, won the Super Bowl, uh, I just want to go through and kind of go through what everybody did this year, do a quick recap, and then move on to the offseason, so... Here's the stats of the teams this year. Nathan, Nate, the Crook Hookland, uh, 4,100 yards, 48 touchdowns, 5 picks. Let's see. We have Michael Reed, a rookie. He had 2,000. Uh, Chubb filled in. He was hurt a couple games, so that's good. Uh, average 21 touchdowns. That's great receiving. Roy Harvey and Sherfy Sherfield and Butt and Quadri had a four-man run this year really wow they're pretty even too 1200 1200 a thousand 16 17 and six touchdowns blocking who gave up some sacks i bet everybody did oh yeah dalvin johnson and Milcop. yeah great 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 all right defensively mac wilson uh hollis he's gonna be gone and they got some cornerbacks so let's see how many sacks who had the most sacks on the team boom Ooh, Foreman, look at that, with nine, Puna Ford and Hawkins with five each. So actually, my lineman had some sacks, which is crazy. Interceptions, probably barely any. Three, three, or two, 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 one. Yeah, dude, for some reason, interceptions aren't that great. A lot of flexions. Okay, I can take it. Did anybody have a touchdown? Did we have a safety? Oh, we had one safety. Oh, look at Titus. Any touchdowns? No defensive touchdowns. Kicking. Rhett Kramer, 72 extra points and 9 of 10 field goals. I think I just missed one, like 55 or something. Let's see, 18 punts, just under, just over one a game, 50 yard, average, 56 yard average, net 49. That's good. I can dig it. Kick return, anybody? Beckett, oh, not bad. Van Buren, punt return, not bad. So, <clears throat> all in all, not a bad season. Let's go ahead and check the awards, yearly awards. Uh, MVP? Wow. Okay. All right. Russell Wilson. And then, oh, wow. Baker Mayfield went to the Vikings. Michael Reed and Hookland both on here. Not in the top. That's fine. Coach of the year? Going to be me, of course, because we went undefeated. All right. So, offense player of the year. All right. We, we got two of the top three with our quarterback and our running back. Defensive player of the year. Miles Garrett, of course. Uh, nobody on my team there. Rookie of the year. Ooh, of course, our running back. Bengals got two offensive rookies of the year. Candidates, uh, I can dig it. Uh, defense rookie of the year, anybody? Oh, look at that guy, Witherspoon. He's he's kicking. Best QB, bam, me, Nate the Crook Hookland. Best running back, Lamichael. I got what you need, Reed. Best wide receiver, oh sure if he's in there. Oh, and Harvey too. That's nice. Uh, Quadri is he's good, but he's not as good as those two. He'll be the third boy this next season. Oh wow, my offensive line. How are six of my offensive linemen? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. I had some good linemen. <laughs> Even my backups are in the top. I can dig it. Uh, nobody on the defensive line. Linebackers, nope. Defensive backs, nope. Kicker, mm, fourth down. It's all right. All right. So let's see here. We can go in and check the NFL records. Did I do anything good this season? Uh, we'll do season yards. See, pass yards in a season. Nobody. I didn't do. I didn't do that well. All right. Let's do past touchdowns. Mayfield. Mayfield. Oh, Hookland. There he is. Forty-eight. Twenty twenty-three. That's what year it is. Rushing yards. Twenty twenty-three. There he is. Lamichael Reed. He can't beat Nick Chubb's last three years though. That's fine though. Uh, rushing touchdowns. Thirty-four. Holy crap! He didn't even make the list with twenty-one. He was hurt. So uh, next year receiving yards. Nah. Nobody. Nobody does that good on here. Receiving touchdowns. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Catches. And of course not. Let's see if we did any game things. Uh, nobody there. Pass touchdowns in the game. Nope. Rushing yards. Oh, he didn't beat. He came in third. Oh, wow. He had two 300-yard games this year. Can dig it. And then Chubb had the other two. Rush touchdowns, five. Uh, did he have five? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No one's had more than five. But uh, Michael Reed did do that. Receiving yards in the game. No, nobody's going to. We didn't touch that. Receiving touchdowns in a game. No, we didn't touch that either. So, all right. Nothing really crazy there. Let me go ahead and show you next who uh, the playoffs here. Oh, nope. 
schedule, league schedule. Uh, all right. Uh, so the wild card round, it was what? The Jets over the Bills, the Saints over the Cardinals, the Dolphins over the Titans, and the Giants over the Falcons. And then I beat the Dolphins. The Giants beat the Vikings, the Oilers beat the Jets, and the Seahawks beat the Saints. And then the championship game, I beat Houston. The Seattle beat the Giants. And then, of course, I beat the Seattle 28-21. Um, who is going to be gone off my team next year? These are the players I've left to negotiate. Here's who will be gone. This is a guy I picked up as a free agent. He's actually not that bad, but I don't. I can't. No, I'm good. Um... Nick Chubb, I'm going to let go. Hollis uh, and Peter, these three are all told me to go pound salt. I did franchise my center because it was my least, um, the position I had the least amount of depth in. Uh, Dylan Mitchell, I didn't even use him. I'm not going to re-sign him. Uh, and Pipkins, he's just he's just gone. So just a few players won't be back. I don't need to do a lot in the offseason. Uh, and then let me go ahead and show you guys the final roster of our team. So we had, uh, let's see, Hookland's now an 83, and then we have Fitch as a backup, who's, who's fine with that. Uh, then we got, what, Chubb will be gone. So we got Reed, Justice Hill, Beckett, and then I, I drafted Beckett a few years ago. So um, <clears throat> fullback's still going to use Trey Madden, even though he's old. He's good. Uh, it'll be Sherfield and Harvey. Quadri will be the number three. And then I'm sure I'll probably draft or sign someone here for this fourth guy. Uh, Jake Butt, I'm probably going to draft a tight end. I mean, he's good. He he only has a year or two left, and then this guy's trash. So we'll go there. Let's see. Yeah, so we got 86 overall. I moved my other. This guy's going to be gone. So then I have this guy to take his place, the 79. Center. See, he only has 74 old center. So I franchised him. I may give him whatever he wants for money because he's important. Uh, I got 80 on the right guard, and then I got an 84 on the right tackle. So I may draft some more <clears throat> linemen. My, my line isn't very great, 76. This guy's a rookie, 70. Uh, right end. Yeah, nobody's really writing home about Ralph Hawkins. Puna Foreign's going to be gone, but I got this guy. He'll be all right. So I may pick up another little bit of depth. My linebackers, Kasim has been with me a long time. Uh, and then we got this guy. He was a rookie, so he's good. They're creeping up. I need uh, Mac. They're all, these guys are all pretty decent. So I got a nice little core of linebackers. Um, even on this side. So I'm pretty happy with my linebackers as they are right now. Um, even I'm even happy with these guys. Uh, they're all getting a little old, so I may draft somebody or something. Uh, free safety, red wine, and him. They'll be good for a little bit longer. This guy will be gone. I have a 77 stepping up. So, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's, I mean, I drafted Hollis. He was my homie. Uh, we got Rhett Kramer here. We got Bajorquez. And then the draft picks. We got two picks in the first round, 22 and 32. And then we have one, two, three, four, five fourth round picks. I've made sure to scout kind of heavy in the fourth round area. I can even do the fifth here in a second if I have to. But uh, really, I mean, that's really it, guys. That's everything we got to show you here on the review video. So um, thank you so much for checking out the video. That is all time I have for today. If you uh, like what you see, please make sure to like and subscribe. That helps us out the best. Or share us with one of your friends. Show somebody else our channel. It would be greatly appreciated. We're just trying to grow slowly but surely. But uh, for Jonas, I'll catch you here in the next video. It's for the off season, And then uh, we'll go forward in season six. So for Jonas, I am out.